What's up guys? Nerd with Attitude here. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I certainly did. I'm still with my family, so I'm recording on my phone right now outside. So the audio probably won't be very good. Um, but I, I, I wanted to make this video to talk about something right quick that I saw this morning. Uh, it appears David Mead is blaming trolls for uh, negativity um, for his new book. So I'm just going to read uh, this little two little paragraphs right quick from his new article to see what he says. He says, friends of mine have indicated to me that there exists a small minority of fringe elements who have commented in an irrational fashion about my book. Despite the fact that it is a classic containing enormously important and valuable information, why would my book be attacked? It contains the most important revelation of the century, the decoding of the great sign of the woman, a time marker never seen before in history, that is not true, and which points shortly forward. As my interview with Glenn Beck stated, it starts the ball rolling. It's by far the most important story and most important book of the century. Now, the Glenn Beck interview, I did watch that, and it's very obvious that, that Glenn Beck is having a go with him. He's having fun with him. He does not believe this crap. The rest of it says, well, negativism could be for several reasons. One is that, as in the days of the propaganda machine under Adolf Hitler, books containing brilliantly analyzed truth were burned or destroyed. This same spirit could be prevalent today. Are we in the days of Noah? Or these people could be certifiable. Who are these trolls? Some have suggested probably paid trolls. GCHQ, perhaps. We may never know. Well, yes, you will know because nobody is trolls, idiot. I wish, I wish, I've said this a thousand times. I wish that I could get paid for what I do. I wish that I could get paid for what I do because what we do, what we what we do that you guys call trolls is we we call out fear mongers. We show that they're telling lies, which is exactly what we did with David Mead. We showed that he is a giant liar. So everything that he said was gonna happen in his Planet X 2017 book did not happen. None of it happened. But we also exposed the fact that his name is J.T. Grineau, and he's been doing this since the year 2000. That's as far back as we could find. He's probably been doing it longer than that. So the negativity from his book being attacked is because of him. David Mead, you did this to yourself by being a false prophet. You are a false prophet. You're lying to people to sell books. And the new book, End of Days, I read the sample just as I did the other, and it's still copy-paste. It's still copy-paste from, from articles on the PlanetXNews.com website. You see, this is what I don't understand. If you're out to help people, if this is very important and you're out to help people, why do you keep taking your old books and putting them in new books and selling it when you've already written it? It's already on the PlanetXNews.com website for free. If you really was trying to help people, what you would do is send people to that website. Say, you need to read this article. You need to read this article. List the articles that people need to read and let them read it if you're really out to help people. But you're not out to help people. David Mead is out to make money. JT Grinnell is your name. Stop acting like your name is David Mead. We all know who you are. You are a troll, is what you are. You're running around, lying to people, 
writing your same books over and over and over and over and over and over again, scaring people. That's what you're doing. I just felt like I really wanted to address this this morning because, to be honest, it's very hilarious to me that he blames, um, he blames us for his negativity on his book. By the way, there are no comments on that new book. There are absolutely no reviews on that book. None whatsoever. And most of the comments on the Planet X 2017 book are negative comments because people are saying this is crap because it's all dreams and rehash stuff. It's not even his. 25% of the Planet X 2016 book was his. Everything else in that book is copy pasted from other people. He's plagiarizing, he's stealing other people's ideas and shit. That's what he's doing. So I just thought it was pretty funny to wake up this morning to, to trolls being blamed for the negativity in his book. The only person that is irrational is David Mead. And everybody at that planetxnews.com website, everybody at express.co.uk that keeps putting that stuff out there because they're scaring people. That's exactly what they're doing. You wanna know why people are out here debunking this crap? Because you're scaring people, you piece of shit. I'm sorry, guys. You guys know I have an attitude. It is in the name. I'm sorry. I have an attitude. I don't care because this is just bullshit. The, the Terrell 03, he's got his stuff going. They all get in this momentum and they're selling books. And I think that, that Express.UK is in with them. I think that they they claim that... that they don't like that website, but I think that they're in together with that website. They're they're doing something together to put out, you know, crazy stories to get them attention. You know what I mean? Far as we know, they could be paying that website to, hey, post this, post this, you know what I mean? You, you really never know. People, a lot of times, attention, no matter whether it's negative or positive, is still attention. So, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and we'll talk soon. Bye.